Backwoods Billy, coming to beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore, my little Delmarva Day. Click, like, subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Today is really heavily pollen day, so when I cleaned it up with the tablecloth on, I wound up wearing most of it. So, um, that aside, we're talking about getting ready for Easter. Got a little Easter little solar dancers out here. Um, looking at a coffee stout by Otter Creek Brewing, partner collab with their neighbors at um, Vermont Coffee house basically they did a collab beer with that 5.6 percent abv or alcohol by volume and you're looking at um 25 ibus and a 168 calories per 12 ounce serving of the beer now it comes in bottles and cans um and they're out of the vermont drip drop coffee stout now they say that they got a very nice um heavy dose of dark malts and they have fair trade coffee beans and my assumption from that would be Sumatra, I buy these coffee beans that are green, you can roast them yourself. And by that way, you get to how far you want to roast them yourself on there. And that's always says fair trade on it. So I would assume that's what that is. It's also popular that in Kona, which is the wine coffee to be utilized in this, or French coffee and coffee stouts. <clears throat> now, dark malts. If you use a black patent malt, it can be too acidic. You can get a, uh, one that has the acidity to remove. That's a good way to go. Um, Hops in here are probably something like along the lines of Nugget or Kent. Um, I haven't tasted the beer, so something along those lines. It could also have Cascade in it, which would be more fruity. It could have Saul's Wilmot, which is more spicy hops in there. Um, me, personally, probably use like a Morris Otter hop, starting out with the base and rolled in with a, um, a combination of a Cara Munich or a Cara Rye and or. And um, maybe it's like a Vienna Malt in here for a nutty profile. But this does not have the nutty profile to it, so... So they say they had a touch of brown sugar, and the brown sugar is to bring out the vanilla notes and plum notes. You need the dark malt when you brew a coffee stout. It's um, not going to have the darkness. You don't use a lot of coffee in there. So the dark malt is going to be the color. And here we go to our pour. So the pile, I'm going to keep everything covered up. Smells like coffee. They're saying it's coffee, chocolate, notes to this. This is basically um, opaque black. I mean, it's very deep, dark. Espresso black. Yeah, like espresso color, like a very deep pile of brown. Technically, black's coming on colors in the color spectrum. Like photocopies and see top apps of color. What's the combination of that? Um, you get coffee. You get dark fruits with this. You do get a slight herbal and nutty note to this, which they didn't say was in there. Slight grainy note. And it did pour, very nice lacing on the glass, um, a darker khaki color head to it. Um, very nice. I get coffee up front, like with the aromatics, going to a sweetness, and I don't get a lot of chocolate, but I do get a hint of chocolate, dark fruits, which I couldn't necessarily pick out the plum in there, an extremely faint vanilla note, almost like a cream to this. The texture on this is going to be uh, on the lighter side, a medium bodied, um, when they're like a medium, I should say a medium bodied uh, beer, more like a porter uh, and a a thin bodied stout so it's not like a thick chewy stout where you have like flaked oats in there medium body beer that's just with more than that's where it's stout because anybody medium body beer heavier than obviously a lager or a regular ale um i get the coffee dark fruits the faint chocolate faint vanilla it's a backwards billy two thumbs up on this beer now I'm going to put a recipe in here if you want to brew your own a clone recipe to brew something similar that's not exact. I love coffee stouts, and in my opinion, make them better. You can do a barrel aged version, which I can put that in there. And when you do the coffee part, you can do what they call a toddy method, either a French press or a cold brew method, and it prevents the bitterness from the coffee coming through. Now, there is a slight bitterness to this, and that's most likely the hops in the background that are balancing out the um, sweetness from the malts. So I think it's very well done. It's extremely well done beer. It's a backwards Billy. Two thumbs up uh, on this. I want you guys to oh, drip drop 
I always told me drip drop coffee stout by Otter Creek Brewing Company out of Vermont. I'll put the link to them in the description box from right on down. So back was Billy two thumbs up on the beer. Remember to have a happy Easter holiday. No, hoppy Easter. Oh, I'm sorry. She's right. It have a I'm saying to everybody, hoppy Easter. So we got rabbits that hop and hops that go into beer. Have a hoppy Easter. Um also remember to be safe, drink responsibly, and um sorry, talk I was pounding over there. Food pairings like a nice uh, stew with this or a nice steak or hamburger would go very well uh, with this as well. So backwards bully two thumbs up. Remember to click like, subscribe to Backwards Billy Crappy Reviews, and check me out on Backwards Billy Fitness, where I will be putting up more videos shortly on that as well.